In 1968, Ivan Sutherland introduced the first graphics-driven head-mounted display, or HMD. However, HMDs continue to be cumbersome devices limited by the size and weight of existing optical designs. We propose a simple alternative, replacing bulky optics with thin, lightweight microlens arrays covering a pair of OLED panels. Our design supports comfortable form factors, with each eyepiece having a total thickness of only one centimeter. Note that the box containing the driver electronics could be waist-mounted with longer ribbon cables. As a user approaches our prototype, a sharp virtual scene becomes visible, despite the display being located directly in front of the eye. Similar to light field cameras, the micro display depicts an array of perspectives. Also similar to light field cameras, benefits in field of view, weight, and form factor come at the cost of decreased spatial resolution. Physical supplementary materials. The provided package contains a high-resolution film, a microlens array, and a trial lens for simulating myopia. Here we show the encoded elemental images corresponding to six virtual scenes. These scenes span a range of distances within the predicted depth of field. The microlens array is placed against the film and viewed in close proximity. Once within the minimum viewing distance, a single virtual image appears. Note that the lenses are imperceptible since the array is defocused. The red square denotes the previously mentioned viewing eye box. The microlens array requires manual alignment. Rotation and translation must be altered in the depicted manner until the array is properly aligned with the film. We also constructed a binocular prototype shown on the right using components taken from a commercial HMD shown on the left. The external housing was removed, exposing the driver electronics and the eyepieces. The OLEDs were then removed from each eyepiece. Here we show that the disassembled micro displays can be controlled independently. Micro lens arrays were cut and mounted in front of each display. A custom head mount was fabricated using 3D printing. The modified eyepieces and original circuit board were attached to the case. The assembled prototype is shown here. We again emphasize that longer cables would allow the box above the eyes to be worn on the waist. As a result, the prototype supports an HMD with a total thickness of 1 cm. Near-eye light field displays require customized rendering. Each lens and micro display segment depicts a single off-axis perspective projection of the scene. Directly extending rasterization requires rendering potentially hundreds of perspectives. We use ray tracing as a flexible alternative. The following videos were captured in real time. Note that the frame rate is quoted for binocular rendering, although only the left eye light field is shown. A variety of interactive test scenes were composed to assess the prototype. A camera was placed adjacent to the prototype, selected to approximate the human eye. Here we show three videos, each corresponding to the rendered segments from earlier. Addressing accommodation convergence conflict is a key benefit. The following sequence demonstrates this capability. The fish on the left is located 1 meter from the camera, whereas the fish on the right is 25 centimeters away. We begin by focusing on the rear fish then focusing on the front one, then to the rear again, and back to the front. For illustration, we focus on the microlens array itself. Note that the human eye cannot do this. Now we focus back to the closer fish. Our prototype display system also supports existing stereoscopic content using a custom fragment shader to resample rasterized views. Here we show an interactive gaming session.
Commercial head-mounted displays have not yet achieved lightweight eyeglasses-like form factors. Our microlens-based design is aimed at achieving these goals, offering a new path to immersive HMDs that trade spatial resolution for significant improvements in field of view, weight, and form factor.